Welcome to the top of the world, or rather I should say the top of my local hill. The reason I brought you all the way up here is so we can look at the Rowan, or as it's otherwise known, the Mountain Ash. As its common name suggests, it is a tree of upland areas and it really prefers acidic soils. You will find this tree in lowland areas as well. It's commonly planted in towns and in industrial estate car parks and in gardens, and that's mostly for its attractive flowers and berries. Where it's truly at home is up here on the hillside. And it's a beautiful winter's day. It's lovely and warm actually up here, and I can hear ravens cronking in the background. So it's a lovely place to come to. come around to the other side of the tree so we can get out of that harsh sunlight and get a better look at the twigs and buds. The buds are alternate, that's clear straight away, and they're quite far apart from each other as well on the twig. And there's a bit of variation we can see here. First of all, some of the young twigs actually have this reddish colour to them, which you can see here, while others are kind of grey or brown. On the red twigs, there are these noticeable lenticles, though, these spots, breathing pores of the bark. They're white in colour. There's variation in the size of the buds as well. Hopefully you can see how the bud itself is actually quite hairy and soft, a little bit like a rabbit's foot, I like to think of it. And it's got brown, purplish patches mixed with the grey fur as well. Very distinctive buds. Also, we can see how the buds are hugging the twig closely, pointing up to the tip of the branch. Here is another distinguishing feature which I look out for to tell me this is a rowan. A lot of the buds are on these stalks which shoot off from the twigs. And these stalks are very wrinkly. You can see those horizontal wrinkles all the way up that stalk. This is described in some books as like a pile of pancakes. But I prefer to think of it as a wrinkled old witch's finger. Um, so I look out for these witch's fingers on rowans, ending with the nail, which is the bud, the kind of hairy nail. And it's a good kind of mental image to remember the rowan. So look out for witch's fingers, or if you prefer, a pile of pancakes. Looking at the profile of this tree, what's clear is that it is grown with multi-stems, and that's very common with rowan. You do get it single-stemmed as well. I've seen that on my drive up here, and a lot of the time the rowans you see in town areas will be single-stemmed because they've been more managed or manicured. But here, in its classic habitat, we're getting that multi-stemmed growth. I've had a closer look at this tree, and as the low winter sun hits the bark, it really shines back at you. Beneath the grey bark, there's a silvery layer that just pings right back out at you and hits the eye. That's really noticeable. It's also home to quite a few white lichens as well, which are like a patchwork all over the tree. One thing I'm noticing as I look at the silhouette of this rowan tree is how all the branch growth is pointing upwards. It's all diagonals, there's not many curves in here. If you think of something like an ash, the branches tend to curve down and then up again, they sweep up in a curve, but there's none of those curves here, it all looks like angles. There's another distinctive feature that we can look out for in the silhouette of this tree, and you can see it up in this one. There's the old stalks left over from where the berries were last year, and that makes quite a distinctive silhouette in some of those top branches. off the hill for a moment to give us a close-up view at a different rowan and particularly its tree bark. So let's get a good look at the details. Firstly we've got the smooth grey bark as the base layer and then peppered across it we have these raised lenticels which are the breathing pores of the rowan tree. Also in patches you'll recognise this from earlier, the white lichens. Again that's not the bark itself, that's a lichen growing on top of the bark. There's some good patches of moss around here as well, which is characteristic of the rowan, so do look out for that. 
on the more mature stems, such as this one here, there's a slight ribbed texture to the bark. If you feel it with your hands, you can feel slight horizontal bands going around the circumference. And that is quite characteristic of the rowan as well. And one last note about the bark is that it does bear a resemblance to young oak. And it's quite easy to get them confused when you've got young oak and rowan growing on a hillside. But as always, follow the rule, begin with a branch. And that way, you're not going to make a misidentification. I've come round to the base of the rowan tree here on the roadside to see if there's any evidence of leaf litter that we can use for identification. There is a little bit. I found some of the small uh, tooth edge leaves, but they're mostly disintegrated and that's what I'd expect to see with rowan. I wouldn't rely on it to leaves in winter for an identification because they rot away very quickly. Here's a typical example of what I've found under the base of the rowan tree. The leaves are well on their way to decomposing and not something we want to rely on for identification. You've just learned how to identify the rowan tree in winter and now it's over to you of course, not only to find the tree for yourself, but also share with me any interesting rowan lore that you know that I might have missed out and any cool rowan trees that you found out in the wild, you can post those comments below and we can all learn from that as a tree loving community. Now, of course, it really helps us out if you subscribe to the channel and give this video the thumbs up and do share it with others who would love it also. And if you want to take your tree identification knowledge even further, I have a whole course that you can join. It's called the Complete Tree ID course. And there's a free taster version of the course you can try out for free by following the links in the description below. And I'll see you soon again out in the woods. Happy tree hunting. Take care.